If I could only choose one peptide to use for the rest of my life, I would easily choose Tessamorelin. Why? Unpopular opinion here, Tessamorelin is overhyped. Does it work? Yeah, it works. It's a growth hormone releasing hormone analog, so it can significantly enhance endogenous growth hormone without increasing hunger like MK677 or other ghrelin agonists do. But I believe there's a superior alternative that's a little more obscure and under-discussed simply because it's not FDA approved like tessamorelin, and that is CJC1295. So there are subtle pharmacological differences, but effectively, regular CJC and tessamorelin, they're the same thing. Now, the advantage of CJC is that its structure allows it to be compatible with something called DAC, or drug affinity complex, which dramatically extends the half-life from just 30 minutes to one week. So instead of having to inject it once or ideally multiple times per day, CJC with DAC only needs to be injected once or twice per week. So personally, I think CJC1295 with DAC beats tessamorelin, but let me know what you guys think. And for all your supplement needs, check out the free Natty Plus cheat sheet. It is in the description below.